So my idea for this was that I was gonna do this and then answer a bunch of weird, not weird, but answer a bunch of questions that you guys put in the Discord. Um, but I have to look at the doc on my phone because I need something to talk about while I'm doing this. So what are the biggest things you could have done better while on your path to becoming a popular streamer? Um, what could I have done better? Started the podcast sooner, maybe? Started IRLing sooner, because I think that's kind of my my thing. Uh, what would the old Maya think of current Maya? She would probably cry. What's something you wish you could be better at? Games. Would you want to fly or be able to talk to animals? Talk to animals, what? Like, easy, peasy. Um, what breed is your horse? He is a Kiger Mustang. Um, I think they're descendants of, like, Spanish Mustangs primarily. I've heard there's a little bit of Andalusian in there. What's your favorite pasta sauce? Pesto. These are great questions, you guys. When's the P.O. Box stream Wednesday? How'd you start doing- no, 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 I'm answering these questions. No, why am I reading? Um, what is the real reason Cow didn't get editor? What up, Cow? Um, because Danny has been a really valuable part of the community for a while. He's super wholesome. He watches all my streams. He's actually an insane editor for being new to editing. And I, when deciding whether or not to get, or when I was deciding between the two editors, I asked them to cut together an IRL VOD of mine in like a vlog type format. And Cal, or, and Danny's was m miles and miles better. And that's why I picked Danny. Um, when are you doing the next viewer call-in stream? Uh, when I really don't have content. So soon. Probably. What's your favorite type of plant species and why? Ooh, that's a fun question. Um, I, I really like, I like ranunculus flowers. It's like a, it's in the buttercup family, I believe. Um, other than that, I really like carnivorous plants. More Mulan streams. Yeah, we'll do more. Her flying has been really good lately. What are you and Hot Chubby doing on stream? Yeah, I'm uh, going to, oh my God. Have you ever been scuba diving? Are you interested? Uh, no, I have not. And I'm not really, honestly. I I don't like, uh, I'm not super into marine stuff, honestly. Oh, Hachabi. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I am meeting her in LA on Sunday. Um, so we're gonna stream. I assume it's on her stream. I didn't, I didn't ask, but I, I wasn't planning on bringing my stuff, so. Um, okay. Plans after college. Uh, get a job. I said that with an Omega wall in it. Um, I, yeah, I'm gonna get a part-time job at a wildlife rehab center. Your IP can leak though this game, by the way. Perfect. Done it once, I'll do it again. I fucking love the Spectrum physical store. Dream guest on the conservation cast. David Attenborough. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I think Coyote Peterson would be really cool. One of the Erwins would be really cool. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of conservation heroes. Jane Goodall. I used to, I used to like only read stuff on, when I was in like elementary school, I was obsessed with Jane Goodall. I thought I wanted to work with, uh, with primates. I thought I wanted to work with primates until a few years ago, actually. I was never interested in birds, um, until recently. I'm gonna make this bigger because I'm talking. That's a little much. Um, will there be another birthday charity stream this year? Good question. Uh, yeah, probably. That would make sense, wouldn't it? But I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Um, <laughs> if you could have dinner with three people dead or alive, who would they be? Um, Steve Irwin. Uh, who else? That's a hard question. Uh, I lost someone my freshman year of high school. He would be one of them. Um, and let's pick an alive person then, huh? Uh, they said dead or alive. If you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would you have dinner with and why? I'm reading off a doc. Woog. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Um, that's really hard. Okay, let me pick Let me pick an alive person. Let me pick an alive person. Let me pick an alive person. Um, when are you playing more CSGO? <laughs> have you ever experienced anything paranormal in your lifetime? You're a no. sub. Um, no, I have not. Literally nothing. I don't even, like... I've never even thought that I like saw something weird or like saw a ghost or anything like that. I've had, I mean like door, I've had like door slam and shit, but I just like don't have it in me to think of it as paranormal, I think. Um, what two animals would you combine and un unleash on the world? Consider this hybrid's role in whatever environment it's placed in. That's like a really hard question. Um, what two animals would you combine 
and unleash on the world. Can it be like a, could I do like a, oh geez. I'm trying to think of something valuable. Like there's like photosynthetic bacteria. So like maybe that and You're something that traveled like a, like a. Congrats on editor cow. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how to make them like, what about a snail and a shark? Okay champ, okay, sure. A snail and a shark. I'd mix a human and a frog so we get a real life <laughs> Pepe. Although I guess we already have poke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, a leech and a snake, but we already have that too. <clears throat> um, what do you, why do you generally like birds? What's so special about them? Birds come in so many shapes and so many colors and they do so many interesting, cool things. And there are birds that eat like little seeds and they're tiny little songbirds and they're birds that are like harpy eagles and they eat monkeys. They like, they're just, they're so different and they're so interesting and you can never stop learning about birds because you can never, you can never get to the point where you've learned everything about birds. There's always things to learn. So I just, I love them. I think they're so cool. Like I've worked with parrot, you guys know, I've worked with parrots and I've worked with birds of prey and they are so different. Um, I think it's just fascinating. And I think they're so cute. Have you ever been to the UK? I've been to England actually a fair amount of times. I have family there. Um, how long will you be a streamer? Actually hard question. Uh, I will be a streamer until, well, there are lots of things that could end my streaming career. One, I'd like to think that I'll stream and do the podcast and do stuff like that as long as I'm making a positive impact in what I am passionate about, which is conservation. So I foresee a pretty long future in streaming, but you know, the platform, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. So we'll see. Um, if you get a full-time position at a zoo or wildlife sanctuary, do you see yourself stopping streaming or reducing the amount of time you stream each week? Uh, if I got a full-time position at a zookeeper at like a really good zoo, I still don't think that I would, I don't think I would take it, honestly, because I think that what I'm doing right now with the podcast is really powerful and I think that it's reaching a lot of people and I think do that I would know be when stupid the next to, stream to let that go. Mixer? Would you do a 12 hour stream? What would you do for a 12 hour stream? Ooh, God. I can't even imagine. Nothing. It would be miserable. I finished a quest. What type of jobs are you applying for and what? Yeah, so wildlife rehabilitation center or zoo or something along the lines of that. Do you really hate games or is it an act for stream? I really have never been, I really don't like games. I, I've never gotten into them. Um, well, I don't know. Like with CS, there was a time where I was actually excited to play it and I would play it off stream. Like I, I mean, not a lot, but like there was, there was a period, a short period where I was like, I like couldn't stop playing. And I kind of got a feel for like why people play games for so many hours on end. Like, but that's only happened to me like a handful of times. And by a handful, I mean maybe once. Overthinking killed it for it. Uh, true, true, like actually. Myth is still here. Hi, Cynic. Okay. Um, if you had to choose to bring, to only bring one of your pets, including a, including a Saro, which one and why? What kind of question is that? Pick a pet? I love Flint and Flo in Gombe. I've seen every documentary made on chimps. Eagles Ooh. are cool. The fly from 75 to 99 miles per hour, spot a rabbit three miles away, four to eight times better than humans. 60 species and they are loyal lovers unless one dies um that's that's cool <laughs> um, if i had to pick one of my pets i i'm not doing that actually that's just a bad idea uh what's your favorite and least favorite class you've taken i hated physics in high school i hated physics in high school because i have no common sense um my favorite class that i've ever taken i took a tractor driving course that was pretty cool. I took I took a mechanics course, um, and we had to do we had to do concrete, um, electric. What do we have to do? We had to do concrete, electric, plumbing, uh, woodworking. That may be it. Is that it? I feel like there's more. I think there was more. Um, but yeah, that was that was a cool class just because it was super practical and like hands on, and I appreciated that. You know, ironically, that's actually the first college class that made me cry. You cry over everything? Um, true. No, that class made me cry because, um, I don't remember. People were, uh, people just knew mechanics better than I did. Um, and I felt really stupid. Hey Ma, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm so glad you're streaming because I've been having insomnia, but now I'll get to sleep in no time. Thank you so much. 
welcome. Yo, ban that Bob dude from your Discord. It creepy. He bought a game to stream snipe you. Pretty sure it's a free game. Um, do you have a dream house? If so, where would it be located? No, I've literally never thought about it. I've never been like, that's my dream house. I don't know. Do birds poop and birth from the same place? Yep, cloaca. One hole for everything. Are there any specific animals or organizations you would like to have on the cast as guests in the future? Yeah, plenty. Um, I want to do, well, actually a lot of them we actually have, we have lined up, which is, it still blows my mind. Um, but I want an insect person. Um, I don't know. What's the most useless thing you've ever bought and the best thing you've ever bought? The most useless thing I have ever bought was my hard drive, but now it's actually doing fine. Um, my, did I buy Smite? Is that, did it cost money? Two, two monitors? They're okay. Yeah, sure. Um, the best thing you've ever bought is, uh... The best thing was the $20 you donated to Miz. Good one. Um, that's actually not a bad answer. That's not a bad answer. $20 investment. I donated $20 because this was before I knew what TTS was and I didn't know that $3 was typical and I felt like giving him anything less than $20. Cause like- Ooh, a, 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 a free Bob monkey noise. Ooh, a Thank you so much. Guys, obviously the worst thing she ever bought was that sweater she's wearing. This was a sponsor, um, and they, uh, went out of business, so. But, um, when I gave Miz $20, it was, uh, <laughs> in my head, as, like, a normie, I was, like, I was thinking, like, when you give someone a gift, you know, like, or you give someone a present, like, to me, spending less than $20 is, I don't know, it depends, but I, I, like, I feel like $20 is like a good amount to spend on like a present for somebody or a gift for somebody. So I felt like anything less would just be like rude. It was before I knew what TTS was. So, or that it was $3 TTS, whatever. So, um, breathing properly requires- You would literally spam his chat and then you finally gave in and donated cause he didn't read chat. Are you one of the guys from like the way bottom of that LSF post? Like, way down there. Have you been here this whole time? That's kind of- that must be really confusing for you. Have you had a good time since you've been here? Um, how long have you been passionate about animals and charity? I grew up on a farm. I've always loved animals. Always. Um, there are pictures from- there are pictures of me riding my family's goat before I could walk or talk. Um, I- <laughs> I love animals. Um, charity, I don't know, I've, I've been volunteering since I was allowed to at the Humane Society and, and stuff like that. I, I started probably in elementary school. Um, is streaming four days a week now a dead dream? No, I will stream three days a week guaranteed, four days a week if I have the extra time. Um, do I always have the extra time? No, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, would you intervene in an animal fight or let nature decide? Uh, if I saw wild animals fighting, I would not intervene. How many pets have you had throughout your lifetime? Um, I, I mean, I grew up on a farm. We had over a hundred animals at a time. So, a lot. Do you regret or have any regrets about making a Twitch account? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> um, Hey, Jack, I just got $11. out of basic training for the Air Force and was wondering are you and Egghead still together for being out of the loop for a bit? Yes, we are, but welcome back. Thanks for $11. Um, Myth said, as someone who doesn't really get down with games, what do you think is the most appealing thing about Twitch? Um, the most appealing thing about Twitch to me is that there is my passion. My, my passion is conservation education. Um, I like teaching people about animals and about the natural world. And one of the most important things for conservation, because it involves like everyone as an individual, is teaching people about it. Um, and so, and you know, spreading awareness for it. Uh, Twitch has proven to be an untapped reservoir. <laughs> for doing good things. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, I've found that teaching people on Twitch has given me the opportunity to teach a, a younger generation about things that I care about, and it's the younger generation that's the most important. Um, they're our next conservation leaders. So that. And every time I've given my community to do something good, uh, which is weekly on the podcast, they are so supportive and so excited and they come through so hard. Um, and yeah. That's why Twitch is cool to me. It's fun, you know? I've, I've met a lot of really cool people through Twitch, too. I've also met some people that I don't really like, but mostly good people. <laughs> 
Um, has anyone proposed to you yet? No. Just wait till you meet me. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Um, how important big is therapy in your life? I've been going to therapy for years since for actually I guess it's only been it's been like almost three years something like that um therapy's great I love that shit I had therapy today you should go myth it's so good and it can't hurt either you know I feel like everybody can use it you learn a lot about yourself and about other people go to Dr. K uh, I don't what I would talk to Dr. K about. I don't know how I feel about that. Just a reminder, we have a session tomorrow at 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Right. Um, I don't know if I would be comfortable talking to Dr. K. I, uh, I don't know how much I'm comfortable, like, sharing like that, you know? But I know he's really good. I know. I've watched a lot of his stuff. Um, he'll, he'll make you cry. Honestly, I would cry just because I'd be scared to be talking to a new person, so. Was it hard being the youngest in such a successful family? My brothers and my sister are hardcore high achievers. Um, my, my brothers got married young. Um, they've always had really, really good grades. My sister sister, um, top of her class all through high school, uh, went to an Ivy League school, played D1 soccer, went to Ghana to do, uh, like, charity work. Uh, she's a really, really impressive young woman, and my brothers are as well. Um, and... Brothers MVP of everything. Sister MVP of everything. Maya dating a bald midget. You're doing well for yourself, Maya Lul. No, okay, so the reason that actually it hasn't been that bad being the youngest with overachievers is it kind of i feel like is a relief when my sis siblings have done so well because it's like it's not like i can live up to that anyway so i can just do whatever the fuck i want you know is that sad or does that make sense it's sad <laughs> But it's not like I'm doing a bad job. I mean, I'm proud of what I've done and I, I'm, I'm proud of, of what I do. My parents are proud of me. Um, but through high school, like when it came to grades and stuff like that, my, I mean, I, I knew that I was never going to surpass my sister in grades. So I was just like, so I'll just do my thing. Like, it's not like we were close enough to compete. I mean, she was way out of my league. I, I mean, granted, I, like I had a four, I had a 4.0 in high school, all through high school. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But, like, she she took way more IPs than me. She did better. Um, there's a Discord CS tourney if anyone wants to join it. Um, can you do my poetry homework? I took a poetry class. I actually liked it a lot. Can you dunk on a regular size basketball hoop? I can't touch the... I can, I can barely touch the net with, like, the tip of my finger. Actually, I, like, I... Seriously, I barely. At least you can look up to your siblings. Actually, good one. Are you going to TwitchCon EU? I want to, but I don't have plans for it yet. Is there an animal you hate? No. Do you ever take a quick drink right before class or a big exam? No. I have friends though that do coke sometimes right before a test, but that's only if they're out of Adderall. My friends are like, I have... <laughs> um, it's not like that often, but like a bunch of my friends do like do Adderall or whatever. And if they run out, like I have some that'll that'll like do just like a little bit of coke just to like get amped up or whatever. I used to have frat friends that would um cut their coke with pre workout to save money. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I don't know. I it's not my I don't do I've actually never I've done I've never done coke um but a lot of people here do it I don't know. um did Ms. and Maya break up no who is the person I need to dm if I have questions about your relationship with Ms. um <clears throat> Travis have you picked up any bad habits because of streaming fuck yeah I my attention span is really genuinely shorter swear too much bullshit dude <laughs> I, I've sworn like this for a long time. This is not because of streaming. Why are you saying yo? Um, other bad habits I've picked up. Um, I refresh things more often than I should. Less so now. Belle, stop. Bella, they hear you. <laughs> Belle. Hey. Um, other, other bad habits. Yeah, I refresh things too often. Um, I, Bella, can you please? Hey, the audio. <laughs> Does your family still watch all your podcasts and have they caught any of your other streams? My parents sit down together and put my podcast on the TV and they watch it every week, actually. And then they call me the next day and talk to me about the podcast. <laughs> and they're like, I didn't know this. This was really cool. Um, she was really good. Like, 
stuff like that. Um, they watch it every week. Yeah. And my sister watches it a lot too. Not every week, but um, yeah. If there was a house fire and you could save one thing besides your animals, what would you choose and why? My PC, because it's expensive. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I have much that's like super sentimental in here except for Marvin. What does the six in your twiddle hand Twitter handle mean? It means that I couldn't get my Higa. Why do you cry so much? Good question. I cry a lot. I've always kind of been a crier. I like feed your points to Mulan. What does that mean? What does that mean? Nothing? Okay. Um <laughs> cool. Uh yeah, I've always I've always been a crier. I cry like sometimes I'll I, I cry like once every other week, maybe. Not a lot. Like that's like I'll like, I'll like shed a few tears or something. Not like I sit there and I'm like sobbing. Who would win a fight between a full-size grizzly and a full-size silverback? Also, how many of each animal did Moses bring on the ark? It depends who got the, uh, the upper hand. I would say a silverback, but if a grizzly got the bite first, they, their, their bite strength is insane, I imagine. But a silverback is just more um, agile. You're a noob, then I haven't cried since I was two and my dad called me a pussy ass bitch. That's really sad. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, do you take a celebratory drink after every successful podcast? No. Um, who's your favorite celebrity? God, I don't know. Wow, you're a crier. You and Miz are the perfect couple. Do you think you know Twitch now? No. I don't think- I think I- I kind of get chat. I think I get chat, but I don't know the history enough to say I know Twitch, you know? Um, there's a lot of memes that I still don't know. Um, so, yeah. The happiest moment of your life and who were you with when it happened? How old? So-and-so. Um, I think I've answered this before. I think the happiest moment of my life was I was by myself in Austin. Um, the first time, I think it was the first time I went, uh, and I went for You're a walk. Sup. Uh, I went for a walk by myself and I was just really happy, uh, cause I had had a really rough year and was realizing that things were on the up and that I was a different person and I was excited about it. You're a sub. Whoa, David with five subs. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, dude. What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Any near-death experiences? Yeah, one time I uh, was ATVing with my sister and I was behind her and she was going up uh, a dune and there was a barbed wire fence next to the dune and I swerved to avoid hitting her and accidentally grabbed the throttle instead of the brake and I went through the barbed wire fence and my neck went in between two barbs. So I got like a really, really bad burn on my neck. But if I was like a few inches over and there was a barb that went in my neck, I like 100% could have died. Uh, I thought, I actually thought that I was dying um, when it happened. Because I, I saw the fence and then I could barely, like I couldn't feel my neck. But I knew that there was a lot of blood there. And my brother like ran over and I was laying on the ground. And I, all I said to him was like, I'm... Like, I think I'm bleeding. Or I was like, I, I think all I said was I'm bleeding. Um, and I thought that I was like, I thought that I was like bleeding out. I did. Um, Cause I, I just could not feel anything, um, but it was fine. And like, I touched my neck and looked at my hand and it was just full of blood. So yeah, uh, that was probably the worst one. The second time I went ATVing, I went with my ex-boyfriend and he fell into a ditch and I saw, I watched him fall into the ditch. So I swerved cause I was looking towards him and then I fell on top of him. And by I, I mean my ATV. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was bad. All right. That'll do it.